Coming up is part one of the course from MakeThatTrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at MakeThatTrack.com. Hey guys, welcome to part one. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use drums within FL Studio. And uh, we're going to be uh, showing you how to use MIDI as well as audio clips. So first, let's take a look at how to work with MIDI. If you want to assign uh, drums to uh, a MIDI keyboard, the best way to do this is to use what's called an FPC. In order to get one, all you have to do is right click on any of your channels here and choose Insert. FPC. Now it's going to uh, bring the plugin up, and you're going to have a bunch of sounds that uh, are already loaded into these pads here. If you can click on them, uh, you'll hear the sound. So in order to get an empty pad, all you have to do is uh, click on this arrow in the top left here, and choose Presets, Empty. And it'll empty out all the pads, and then you can assign your own. Now in order to get uh, sounds into this plugin. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either click on uh, the folder icon on the respective pad you want, and you can choose something this way, or you can use the uh, browser and drag in a sample this way. You just drag it right on, and it will assign it to the pad. Now I already have one set up, so I'm going to close this one. I'm just going to right click and delete that. I'm going to open up the one that I already have set up, and I've got five sounds in here. When you click on the pad, you have a couple of options for each sound here in the middle. You can choose the volume for each sound, um, you can choose the panning, as well as the pitch. So I've pretty much just adjusted the volume for each of these, except for our snap left and snap right sounds. Snap right, I have panned all the way to the right, obviously, left, all the way to the left. So if we want to start creating a MIDI pattern, what we need to do is right-click on the FPC and choose Piano Roll. And that's going to bring up this grid here where we can uh, draw in notes. And as you can see on the left, it's going to tell us um, where each of our sounds is assigned to on the keyboard. So if I want to make a, a basic kick pattern, all I have to do is click here and we'll write a note in. Okay, and then let's put our snaps on every second beat. Okay, now let's put a clap in. And if you listen, you'll notice that the claps come in a little bit late. So in order to fix this, all you have to do is hold control and drag over both the notes to select them. And then we can hold alt while dragging to bypass the grid here. So if I don't hold alt, you'll see it just snaps to the grid. And if I hold alt, I can drag it just a little bit uh, to the left in between the grid lines. Okay, now we have our basic pattern. If we want to draw this into the timeline, all we have to do is go over here with our paintbrush tool. And if we click and drag with the paintbrush tool, it'll just draw multiple clips like that. Or what I can do is while they're selected, I can hold shift and drag to copy them. So now what we want to do is want to create a little bit of a fill here so that we have a little bit of variation every eight bars. So let's delete that clip there. And to change the pattern that we're in, we're currently in pattern one. We go up here to the pattern selector, click and drag upwards. Now we're in pattern two. And I've already prepared um, a MIDI pattern for a little fill here. So I'm gonna go into um, my uh, preset folder here, where the MIDI is. And just really quick to cover uh, how you can get custom folders on your browser as you go to options. You go to File Settings, and then you can click on any of these folders, and you can assign uh, a custom folder that way. And then we'll show up here on the left. OK, 
Okay, so I have mine set up here. I'm gonna go into my MIDI folder and I'm just gonna drag drum fill up to the FPC and it's gonna put it in. Now all I have to do is since pattern two is selected, I can draw pattern two into our timeline. And now we have a fill. Okay. Next, let's work with some audio clips. So I already have all my channels set up here. And if you want to rename uh, or, or color a track, all you have to do is right click on it and choose rename slash color. And then it's going to give you this box that you can do both things with. So I already have mine set up. So we're just going to follow uh, the little template that I have here. So we're going to uh, get an open hat in here. So I'm going to close MIDI. I'm going to go into the samples folder, into the hi hats folder. We're going to choose OP hat one. We're just going to drag that in. Now I can hold control and uh, use my mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to drag this to uh, every upbeat. Okay, let's copy those. Okay, so now we have this. All right, and if we wanna change the panning or the volume of our audio clips, all we have to do is go back into the pattern here and if we, at the bottom of the pattern window, select this uh, little box here, we can choose audio clips and it's gonna bring up all the audio clips that we have available in our uh, song currently. And then you can use this knob here on the right to change the volume, or you can use this knob on the left to change the panning. So I'm gonna leave that in the center for now. Okay, now let's get another hat in here. Closed hat right. Okay, we're just gonna drag that in. And since this is a, a audio loop, I can just uh, use my paintbrush to get that in very quickly. So now, if we click on it, it's gonna highlight it in here, as you can see with this green highlight here. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is panned to the right because I have it named closed hat right. So we have that panned to the right. Okay, next let's put some tambourines where the snaps are to really brighten up the sound. I'm gonna close the hi-hats folder, go into other percussion, get tambourine left. And let's zoom in, put that on every second beat. We'll do the same for tambourine right. We can make the clip a little bit smaller. Okay, now we can select both of them and shift and drag them over. Okay. All right, so next let's get some more hats in here. And for our next three hats, we're gonna use these to kind of make the rhythm a little more complex and spice it up a little bit. So let's get go back into our hi-hats folder and get a closed hat left. And I already have this uh, spaced to where I want it. As you can see, it's not uh, directly on a grid point until we zoom further in. Closed hat right two. And closed hat center. So these are gonna make the rhythm just a little bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and copy those over. gives it a, a better feel and a little bit less of a rigid sound. Okay, so lastly, let's get uh, this metallic perk in here. What we're going to do with this is just put it at the end of every four bars to sort of uh, give a little bit of variation to the end of every four bars. So 
I'm just going to drag that in and have it hit where the snaps are. And then drag that over again. I'm going to make sure we copy it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our basic beat written in here, uh, we're going to move on to video two, where we start to get some more instruments in the mix. So I'll see you then. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favorite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favourite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show you exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.